Should should we consider all children to be orientationless? Oh, I'm um, certainly not all children. I think some children already do <laughs> experience attraction. Um, like it's so complicated when it comes to children because I think looking back, I can see like evidence in myself that I was gay. Like not very much. Like I didn't really have crushes on anyone, but. I don't know. I remember like occasionally seeing like guys on TV and just being kind of obsessed with the way that they look for reasons I couldn't completely articulate. So I think I think it's just really complicated. I, I think maybe it's still maybe we should still think of it probabilistically with children, where the evidence we should just expect the evidence to be weaker. Children's interests, children's apparent interests, I think are going to be more susceptible to the preferences of their culture. Like I thought I had crushes on girls when I was a kid, but I, I now very much think that that was. Uh, just something I saw on TV. <laughs> yeah. So I think it was a little bit of evidence that I was straight, but it wasn't very strong evidence. I think like a lot of um, times. So as an adult, if you have had like relationships with people of a certain gender, that's pretty strong evidence. You're going to keep being attracted to people of that gender. As a little kid, the evidence is not as strong. Maybe the evidence is strong if, you know, if you're a gay kid, because I think that's pretty unlikely to happen. Um, you know, you're pretty unlikely to be like a boy who has crushes on other little boys if you are um, just stone cold straight. <laughs> yeah. yeah.